Hello lovely people, today I want to show you something how to how you can finish your beaded item. Um, what I'm doing here is a Native American style beadwork, but it could be used for any other beadwork. So you, it's, it's your creativity. So who I am to show to to tell you what you can do with it, you know best. So there are several ways of uh, finishing a beadwork. Uh, for example, we have this here with this little rig rack design. That's uh, a little bag, and you see these both. Um, Front and, and backs uh, are, are sewn together with these little rig rack of um, glass beads. This here might be a 10 o or a 9 o might be from the bead size. So, yeah, um, the beads here are maybe an 11 o So, this is important when you're looking for your beading needles because your beading needles have um, a size here. So, um, at 12 o the the beads the, the number of the beads are are, are uh, higher than the beads are smaller so as, as smaller the number as larger the beads so this is important look at your beading needles for which size it is because when you have um, a smaller bead than a beading needle you will crack up the bead and you it's, it's not a fun thing so it's best to look before. You need some thread and uh, you need some beads. I use here my crow beads because just for showing you, uh, I would not use them uh, for normal beadwork, but it's better to see. So then I have two other st stitches you can you, you can do. This one is an old time way of uh, finishing um, a beadwork. These are armbands in the time period of the Buffalo Bill Show from the 1890s to 1910s and the people simply made one one uh, lane of beads on I, ha I had this style from an old pair of armbands I gave away some time ago so this is one thing and then I want to show you another way of beadwork to finish an item this here it's called the rolled edge because the beads are rolled over and it's also a very fine um, finishing touch to uh, fix the, the inner liner over the beadwork. But it's, it's a way of uh, you can do it. I, sh I will show you. Um, historically, this uh, rolled edge is quite often used on pipe bags, for example, like this here. You see that it's a very nice corner. Sometimes things are sewn together, two pieces, and then the rolled edges connecting both both, uh, both sides of the of the leather. So, but now to finish, I want to start with this one here. This rig rack design. What you also need is a scissor and some thread. Yeah, the thread. I normally take a polyester thread, but you're free what you what you want to use. It just has to get through your needle and then you make a little knot at the end of the thread. So then I start mostly I, with these items. I would start here when you have two pieces of leather put together. Then I would start in the middle that the knot is inside of the bag or of the item, the liner and the, the upper part, the upper beadwork part. But in between that you don't have the knot hanging around and maybe could uh, could could get open or so. So um, I go through the through my leather or whatever you use. You know, it's nothing important. Uh, it's just a little bit inside that it's not uh, that it's not falling apart. So then I use the first for the first time I use three beads. It's now a little bit heavy, what normally with the smaller beads is not as heavy as um, as now. So then I do something. I go through the through the leather, the from from this point here, here, to the point I go through is one, the the size of one bead. So go through it. You see the three beads here. And to get it standing upright, you go through the last bead. 
Very simple. So now you're taking two beads and the same procedure. Going through here one size a uh, one size bead away through the leather. Yeah. So and then through the last bead. It's very simple, very simple um, design, but it looks very cool. So there are also some variations of that stitch. It's, I just want to show you. So now you see also the rig rack design on the on the corner. You can now also use, uh, for example, I now it take three beads. That's a variation, and but it looks cool. And it's, this is mostly done on, on modern items and with smaller beads. So now one, one, one bead away. And now you will go through the last two beads. So now I take four beads. Four. Mm -hmm. Now, one bead away. There are many variations of this stitch, so, but it's just an idea, and it's not really good to see because the beads are too large. But now you can make such a, a rig rack design in large. I feel. Na, da fehlt noch einer. Der ist so ein Missing. So, so now I've took five. One bead away. Going through. It's it's difficult to to explain with these extremely large beads. And you go four four beads stand uh, upright standing. This is now a little bit loose because um, the beads are so large. But when you take very small beads, it looks very fine. And it's a cool thing I have seen on uh, and on corners on the whole seams of uh, Crow 1960s high top or Shoshone high top moccasins for example or it looks really cool but play a little bit around with it so you will really learn really fast how to do it so now I just cut this off here for the next easiest way to get it away so boom, boom, boom. now so yeah it's always to to get it in a very straight very very equal um, fashion you have to simply to make it and to train it it's a, it's a, some you need some time that it looks very consistent on the in the in the rows so not again now i want to show you this one here is here it's also very simple and um, you go through through the leather again i now try to be uh, a little bit close the corner yep. now i take three beads for example, or you can take five or six or whatever. Um, so it's just for getting an impression. So now I take these beads, put them down. I, I normally with, with smaller beads, I would not just take three ones, but it's, it's for showing it here. So it's for the distance here, go, going through the leather, at the end of all these three beads. Yeah. So, moment. You have here, you have these yeah, going through it. And then you see the loop here. And you go through the last, yeah, through, this, uh, through this loop. So, oops. So here. Yeah. It's it's crossing it cr it's crossing the the thread the other thread. So now again three beads. Mm. 
now you look for how far you have to to your next um, stitch has to be so I'm here you see my little needle go through the leather normally I just would would go from always from one side for a, a, an equal uh, design later on so here I am I am through that through the leather yeah. and now I go through the loop here so that, um, that the, the threads are, are crossing and you see that this corner gets a straight line it looks better with smaller beads but it's just for show here next three beads and again looking for the distance to go through the leather go through the leather when this the thread is crinkling you can use beeswax go through the beeswax with it and then the, the yarn will get a little bit stiffer so it's not crinkling so now I have the loop here going through the this loop and again and so on so it's very it's a very simple trick of finishing a beadwork when you have two pieces and sew them together with this stitch it's very fine sometimes I sew the the for example the liner inside and just with a um, just going over the over, over the, the corner and then I do the finishing work later on with the beads so um, I cut this off and show you the next Again, empty again. Now I want to show you off the rolled edge. Again, we have a little knot here. Uh, this is what what I wanted to show you. This corner here, that's rolled edge, and or here, it, it's 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 looking very, very um, clear and uh, so. I use again um, my my leather. Normally, it's a little thicker and uh, than than with these large beads, but it's just for showing you how to make it. For example, when you have you see this here, you see a little bit clearly. This is uh, an 80 bead, it's, uh, a bead size that was used in the 1840s, 1850s on the plains. And here, the guy used who made it. Uh, these are seven beads, you know. I will show you just with three beads because of the size of the beads, just to explain it to you. You go through the leather, and what I do now is I start on the up on the on the corner and go a little bit inside. This has to do going through it, not in in a, in a straight way, but in a, in a that when you, you cover it, you will cover it with beads. You're, you're not, that's not open again. So this here, you see? Mm -hmm. So now I take three beads. Normally it would be more six, seven, eleven. Depends on, depends on your item. You have to test it a little bit. But it's very simple. Take the three beads. So, and now, no, no. Now I simply roll it over. You see here, and I go through the leather, um, B side, one bead size um, beside my last bead, the string, the stringing of the last bead. So I hope it's, it's it's possible to see it. Then you will see that the, the beads, the glass beads, will roll over. So it's not really good to see, but with smaller beads and some more beads would be better to see. But you see, 
in the end result that it, it works. Now again, three beads. See? And you roll it over. Going here inside on the other side one beat away. Now it will normally uh, automatically you will be there automatically. It's uh, it's uh, when you when you did it a few times and have trained a little bit, then it would won't be a problem, I think. So for my normal feelings and making things, it's always a training. Thing. So three bits. You're now here. Going through around it. So, not with my fingers. I, I need my fingers. I don't want to sew them down. Going beside the last bead. There's one, always one bead inside, you know, you can imagine come through it so uh, so it's as I said it's a, it's a question of training and you will see take all these large size of beads but you will see that you just go through and through and through and just with the same number of beads and then you will have later on this rolled edge here it's um, it's normally a very simple step, but it looks cool. <laughs> so I hope uh, it was a little bit interesting and I hope you learned something. And um, yeah, just try it and just try to make things. Just if you try things, you will become better and it would look uh, smoother and equally. And um, you will see this. Be sure. Goodbye, look at the other videos and maybe leave a comment here if it's something that you need or you want to know or whatever. So, goodbye.